You know what I'm saying? If you fight, if you get in there with someone that's compromised, it's your job to bust that ass. And if you're better than them, be better than them. But I don't think that he competed against a healthy Earl Spence. I think something was something was wrong with Earl before that fight. Where did you where did you see the complications? Like was it in the locker room? I seen, doing man, the fuck path? nah. Hell nah. I seen that shit two, three days before the fight. They mm. did a he did a uh he did a it was like a media workout or something. And he was doing the media workout. And you can see within the workout, he was like missing a step. Like Balance. he was missing his step, like his equilibrium and everything was off. Even when he was throwing punches, he was throwing punches and his coach, he was started hitting the mitts. And his coach like threw something for him to like catch it, for him to block it. He didn't even throw the shit hard. Yep. He just threw it, barely touched them. And it yep. like just knocked them way off. I'm like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, something, I don't know what it is, but something ain't right with Earl. Something ain't right with Earl. And if he fights like this, he gonna get his ass beat. But I think it's bigger than what I what I expected it to be. I think it's I think something wrong with Earl before that fight, man. I think something something was wrong with him, man. What do you what do you think it was? Do you think it was a com a combination of the car crash and the weight drain? Do you believe it's the weight drain? <laughs> What, what, I think what I'm not a doctor, so y'all can't quote me on this shit. But if you personally ask me, in my personal opinion, I think it's something neurologically wrong. I think it's something neurologically wrong. Like my my father, before he passed, like years before he passed, he had a he had a stroke, and when he had the stroke, he affected a part of his body he it affected a part of his body and like he had to like relearn how to walk again or something like that to a certain extent i feel like earl was like a couple stages above that shit you know what i'm saying where though his fine motor skills was good it was like his fine motor skills wasn't as sharp or as crisp as they supposed to be his equilibrium wasn't as on point as it was supposed, it was a lot. It was, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't Did you know. see a big w w without the abilities being as sharp as they were? Was it still a, a big skill gap? Um, I mean, I said before the fight, I said before the fight that I felt like Terrence was the the more athletic specimen. I felt like he's the more athletic specimen. I felt like Terrence was more quicker on the on the gas he's more he had better reflexes and stuff like that you know um i felt like if he was in 15 round shape he would be able to win the fight i felt like he would be able to make earl counter earl and stuff like that with his with his abilities with his reflexes and stuff like that um that's what he did but i honestly felt like he did that to a lesser earl though Mm. Mm. Some people in the chat were saying you had uh you had Earl in it. And now that I'm thinking about it. No, I, I did I did have I get, had I, I had Earl I had Earl winning. I picked Earl to win. But I yeah. said I think I picked Earl to win. I said, but just like I told just like I said with Caleb Plant when he fought Canelo, if he's in fifteen round shape, he's gonna beat Canelo. And mm. I said if Bud is in fifteen round shape. He'll beat turns. That's exactly what I said. I said if he's in 15 round shape, I can see him getting him. I think he's the more athletic specimen. He'll keep his ass at the end, be able to outbox him, counter him, and make him run in the shit. I said, but if he's not, come the eighth, ninth round, Earl gonna start walking his ass down. Mm. That's exactly what I said. Now But that was not the motherfucker Earl that I that I was that I know. Do you believe in the rematch it would be the same thing? I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to lie to you in my personal opinion. And now I probably get a whole bunch of grief behind this shit. And I really don't even care. In my personal opinion, 
I think if they rematch, it'll probably be worse. And I don't think it has anything to do with Terrence. I think that is something wrong with Earl. Mm. I think if Earl fights anybody that's a heavy-handed puncher and he get too many shots upside the fucking head from what my from what I've seen, he fuck around and probably leave this. He fuck around and probably leave leave this job. You know what I'm saying? Because in this sport, people do die. You right. know what I'm saying? People do have brain aneurysms and lead this motherfucker. What I seen in Earl, I think I personally, like I said, I'm not a doctor, but I felt like something was wrong with him before he fought. Like, neurologically, something was off with him before he fought. His balance, is, is his balance, all of that shit was off. I don't think it is, it's a turns thing. I think if he fights anybody that's heavily, heavy handed and he take one too many shots, he 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 could be really really damaged. You know what I'm saying? Like, as a fellow fighter, as a gladiator, you know, and someone that understands what it takes to get to a certain point in this sport, you want to get in with your faculties and get out with your faculties. You know what I'm saying? You want to get in, make as much money as you can. You know, and you want to get out and be clear headed be- without taking too many damage or blows upside the head and shit like that. You know, um, maybe it was the de- dehydration. If it was dehydration, then he could bounce back. Maybe if they fight at a bigger weight, it'd be different. But from mm. what I've seen, it, I, I, I personally don't know. 